everybody, I want you to give a warm welcome to a new member of the HGMM family, Lindsay from the Frugal Crafter channel. She's got tons of great decorating ideas and ways to spruce up your home on a budget. Please take a moment to subscribe to Lindsay's channel, The Frugal Crafter. I think you're gonna love her videos. Hi, I'm Lindsay, The Frugal Crafter, and you're watching Home and Garden for Mere Mortals. Today I'm gonna show you how to spruce up a shabby old garden bench using some crackle medium and acrylic paint. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing you need to do is get your paint ready. I mixed some yellow and white together because I wanted to make a light cream color. And this first coat that you paint on is going to be the, uh, the color that shows through the cracks in your design. So you're not gonna see much of this first color. Uh, I decided to use a chalk paint just because it doesn't require any prep work. But um, my bench was pretty clean and um, finish free after sitting under three feet of snow in a main winter. But if you need to do any sanding, you want to do that before this step. Just go ahead and give your entire bench a coat of your first color of acrylic paint. As soon as your paint is dry, you can apply the crackle medium. I'm using some by Delta Ceram Coat, but you can use whatever brand you prefer. There are a lot on the market. I'm going to squirt some into a palette here. If you're working on a flat surface though, you can squeeze it right onto the wood and just spread it around. But on the back of my bench, I need to put it on a palette or it would just drip all over the place. You want to apply a thin, even coat to the painted surface like I am here. If you have really thick parts, it will um, give you kind of, it'll drip and you'll get really, really big crackles. If it's too thin, you'll get a very subtle look. So you can kind of play with it a bit and figure out exactly what you want to do. I recommend you test it out on the back of the furniture first to see what effect you like the best. I recommend doing one area at a time until you figure out how quick to work so you don't want it to dry on you before you get that top coat on. So here I have the blue acrylic paint, blue green color, in my little palette and loaded up on a wide flat brush. Now I'm just going to drag a thin coat across. Now depending on how you put your paint down, whether you use vertical or horizontal strokes, will affect the direction in which the paint cracks in. So you might want to experiment with that as well to figure out exactly how you want it to look. I think um, Try to keep it random and you really can't mess it up. It's going to look fantastic no matter what you do. I wanted to show you the difference between drying times with a crackle medium. So that one in the back, you can see a lot more yellow coming through. I kind of painted that paint on right immediately after putting it there. Now on the next one, you'll see I have some areas that are solid and some areas that are more crackly. The more crackly areas had a thicker application of the crackle medium. And you can see that one right in front that I'm pointing at, that has really big, thick crackles because honestly, I had it a little too thick there, but it's still a very interesting effect. I recommend coating over this with a varnish that is suitable for outdoor use when you're done to make sure your bench will last you for a long time. Okay, so here's the finished bench. It's not quite dry yet, so I haven't varnished it, and I'm certainly not sitting on it yet because I have enough paint on me as it is. Um, but I wanted to show you the difference between the how wet the crackle medium was, how you can kind of um, force larger cracks like I did here, or have more subtle ones like I did up there. You know, just experiment with it and have a good time. And you can turn some of your uh, junky old lawn furniture into some really awesome stuff. Now, when I was painting the original yellow white color i made a mistake and i got some on the metal and i tried to wash it off and it was really stuck good so i went ahead and i distressed all the metal with that yellow paint because if you do it once it's a mistake if you repeat it it's a design element so keep that in mind the next time you're doing your next diy project hey if you liked my project today please check out my channel the frugal crafter i have over 900 diy painting and craft tutorials for you there and if you have a suggestion for an upcoming home and garden for mere mortals video please leave it in the comments below and um your idea might be my next video I want to thank you so much for watching. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And until next time, happy crafting. Welcome to my studio and to my channel where you will find over 700 videos on painting and knitting and crafting and rubber stamping and we'll make these things that go in your hair. Join me for crafty goodness every day, painting too. Woohoo!